Welcome back to Box Office Maniacs, and tonight I am continuing my review for The Mist, and we are now on episode four. So I'm not going to do a recap of the first two episodes, or the first three episodes, or any of the episodes, because if you want to see them, just go back and watch my review for episode one, or my, or my review for episode two and three. So we get on to four now, and usually, you know, when you're watching a TV show, by the time you hit the fourth episode, you kind of really figure out what the show is about. <laughs> one first thing I'm going to say here is, out of the four episodes, this one is the best of the episodes. I know, I mean, it's crazy for me even saying that, but it is. Not the whole episode is great, no, but there's a lot of... Actually, good things in this episode, believe it or not. So let's start with the bad stuff. <laughs> Alright, so I'm really annoyed by this old woman. Um, I think they really just need to push her out into the mist and get rid of her. So she can become a moth woman or spider woman or whatever woman that she's going to become when they throw her out into the mist. They just need to push her out the door because I'm kind of sick of her character already. And the whole religious part of the story here is getting kind of stale as well and, and I know it was sort of in the, the novel but they're really really harping on the whole religious part of this show and now that the main characters are out of the church I don't think those people who are in the church the preacher the crazy old woman and the weird other kid I don't know who he is and the other people who really haven't said anything else on the show I don't think they could really keep the show going or make it even interesting of what's happening in the church and like I said in my first review, I still think that The Mist is mutating stuff. I don't think, I think in the book, I mean, they, Stephen King never really explained it, but, you know, that's why you get to use your imagination. I always figured they opened up a portal to another world or something in this arrowhead facility. And all these creatures came out from another dimension and was taking over our world. I mean, that's one of the explanations that you know, I thought was probably what happening. So in here, I think what's happening is they're just throwing that out, which I, I'm saying that was my own theory anyway. But uh, I think what's happening in this show is the mist is mutating stuff. So like you have gigantic moss and, uh, and everything, and now she has a jar of baby spiders. There's a thousand little baby spiders in this jar. And if that gets thrown out into the mist, I wonder if they're going to mutate into a thousand big spiders and eat everybody in the church. Now that would be awesome. So that was pretty much the bad stuff, was the whole church sequence in the, in the show. But now that our one group of main characters finally got out into the mist, I thought it actually started getting interesting because they started pulling a few things from the book, which I'll get to in a minute. But our main characters are out in the mist now, and they end up in a gas station because they're trying to find a car that works. Apparently the mist is messing all these cars up and none of the cars work. So eventually they end up getting into this gas station and this guy shows up with a working car because he, he has some sort of high grade military something or another that's in his car. Apparently it's the only car in the entire town that's still running and it just happens to show up at this gas station they're in. And the guy is looking for his son and I mean the spoilers here. I mean, if you don't, if, if you've watched the first three reviews here, um, you know there's spoilers. Or the three episodes that I've talked about. So if you don't want spoilers, I mean, don't watch this. It's, this is just my opinion on what the show is here. So the guy's looking for his son, and his son's already dead. They they seen the son, but they didn't want to upset the guy, so they didn't let him know that his son was dead. And that whole sequence I thought was actually pretty good. I mean, they introduce this guy. And he's an interesting character. He's out there looking for his son, and he's survived so far in the mist, and he's seen whatever is out there, and he didn't really tell him. But yeah, I thought that whole sequence in, in the gas station wasn't that bad, actually. I thought it was pretty good. And of course, you kind of know how it's going to end, because there's like three or four of these people, and then one of him. And of course, he has a gun, and he ends up shooting one of the people, because, you know, that has to happen. But still, that wasn't bad. I mean, it was kind of cool. But the best part of this episode comes in the mall, actually. And there was a lot of people who left comments saying that there are no monsters out in the mist, that the people are the monsters, or it's sort of um, like an illusion of what they're seeing out there or something. I don't know. Nobody really knows, I don't think, what's out there or what they're going to show on the show yet. But they did show a monster, finally, sort of, kind of. <laughs> I guess it's what you would call a monster. 
basically what happened was, I think it was an episode either two or three, that the, the, the gaming nerds decided to push the dead people, there was two people that hung themselves, they pushed them out in shopping carts to see if they could see what was out there, thinking maybe they were going to use them for bait and, you know, and watch to see if anything happened to them. And of course, everybody in the mall, including the mall president, or the president of the mall, he got mad and, and upset about the whole thing. But it was a good idea. I mean, it was a really good idea. So anyway, these guys felt bad about it, so they went and got a harpoon gun, and they decided they were going to shoot the harpoon gun out to these people in these shop, shopping carts and pull them back inside the mall. <laughs> I was like, okay. But the thing is, too, while you're watching this, you're like, okay, well, maybe they're already infested. Maybe there's something inside of these things. Some things got inside these bodies and stuff. And that's what the show really needs. It needs some sort of, oh, I wonder if this is going to happen. Up to this point, none of that was in the show. It was just a big mess of characters and a big mess of a story. And up until now, they didn't really have any sort of cool stuff in the show. And this is the first episode that's introduced that, actually. So basically what they did was they pulled these people in from their shopping carts. And I think they pulled the one in. And then they shot the harpoon out to the other one, and it's so foggy out they couldn't see if it hit it, and they were trying to pull the other shopping cart back in. And again, you're watching this thinking, oh, maybe they shot a monster and they're going to pull something else back in, sort of like the you know end of, uh, of Poltergeist where they pull the thing out of, the, out of the closet. I was expecting something like that. Nothing that cool happened, though. So then the one gamer decides he's going to take the, the rope of the harpoon and follow it out into the mist. Now that was basically in the book, sort of. They tied a rope around somebody and they sent him out into the mist and something killed him and they pulled the rope back and there was blood all over it. So that was sort of a shout out to the book right there. And I thought that was kind of cool. I, I, I did. I thought that was all right. All right, maybe they're doing something here finally. So then the guy doesn't come back in and the guy freaks out and the mist starts coming into the mall. And again, here we go. You know, something interesting happening in the show finally. So we got one of the main characters, the woman who got supposedly molested by the jock, which I don't think he's the one who really did it. But she's in the library looking up some book that her dad apparently wrote. He must be an author. They didn't really ever say that. If they did, I don't remember. So she's there with a little girl, and then um, they're in this the bookstore, and so all the mist starts coming into the bookstore, and they get surrounded in the mist. And again, this is something the show desperately needed. Actually people interacting with the, the mist finally you know and it did it, it got a little bit like okay this is this is this is really cool I, I'm, I'm liking what's happening here as much as I trashed on the show I got to say when they do some cool stuff and that was really the best thing in this episode so the mist comes into the bookstore and basically it shows the first monster in the mist and it's like this big shadowy looking thing I don't really know what what it looks like. It was just a big weird blob looking thing. It almost looked like it was human, which again goes back to the people's theories here that's been leaving comments that the things out there in the mist are human. And it could have mutated a body or, or a person. It could have been a person who's been mutated. There's no really way of knowing it because they haven't said. And then uh, they killed the girl which surprised me, really surprised me they did that. I, that was like, wow, they actually went went there. They did that. And then it went after the main character, and of course, it didn't kill the main character. I mean, why would it? And then there's a question, why didn't it kill the main character? My wife actually had a theory, which might be correct, that she maybe wanted to die. She Maybe because of what happened to her, she doesn't care if she lives or dies anymore, and the thing that came up to her... I guess somehow knows that and decided, oh, hey, this person wants to die anyway. I'm leaving her alone. I mean, I guess that's as good theory as any. And then by the end of the episode, they take the gamer guy who left all the mist into the shop and they shove him out the door into the mist because he put one of them in danger and that's what everybody in the mall voted for is to, 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 to shove him out. And once again... Pretty cool. I, I like that idea. I didn't. I didn't uh, hate it. You know. So I don't know if they're going to do anything with that guy. You know, if they're going to show what happened to him, or anything like that. But now we actually have somebody wandering around outside in the mist, and now we have our main characters coming. I, I'm 
assuming they're going to the mall, but you know, there's hardly any gas in the car, so it'll probably run out of gas before it gets there or something. More than likely. But overall, it wasn't terrible. And that's the first time in all these episodes I can actually say, you know, it wasn't bad. I mean, there was some really good stuff with the mist, and that's what made this episode better than the other ones. The characters are still terrible, and the story is still just mediocre. But they did have a few good scenes in this episode. There were a few people in the comments section that were talking about if you've never read the book or if you've never seen a movie, would you enjoy the show? And that's something I'm really wondering about because if you've never ever read the book, have no idea what The Mist is, never saw the movie, and you're watching this show, I'd be curious to see, do you like it? I mean, is it something that you enjoy if you have no idea what's happening? <laughs> If you have nothing to compare it to, I'm wondering, you know, if people actually enjoy it that haven't read the book. I mean, it's possible. I don't really know. And somebody just commented that the show is so terrible, but they're watching it because they want to see where it goes. And that's what I'm doing right now. Literally, it's like, that's why I'm still watching the show, because now I just want to see what they're going to do. You know, what are they going to do with this. I don't know how many episodes it is here, but I'm just curious to see where this thing is going to and if it's just going to be a total car wreck by the end of it or if they manage to actually make it semi-interesting to watch. Now if they keep up what they're doing with this episode, I think they're somewhat on the right track here. You know, focused on the mist, focus on what's out there and not knowing what's out there and you know, stop focusing on the, the president of the mall and, you know, people playing football and people playing Monopoly and, you know, handing out games and all that stupid stuff. Focus on what's out there. I mean, that's what, if I was trapped in that mall, I would be myself wondering, okay, what do we do? Are we just going to sit here? I mean, what are they waiting for? I mean, <laughs> they're waiting for somebody to come rescue them, but I would be really concerned on what's out there. I mean, is there not a roof to this mall? Maybe somebody can get up on the roof and see what's up there or, or something, you know? I would be more curious to see how, like the gamers who sent those bodies out there, I'd be more curious to see what's out there and rather than just sitting inside playing Monopoly. So there you go. <laughs> there is my review for episode four. And I'm interested to see where the show goes now. I have no idea how many episodes this is or I don't know if the next one's the last episode. I have no idea. But... Focus more on the mist, show us some more monsters, and maybe, maybe there could be hope for this show. I'm not holding my breath over it, but, you know, out of four episodes, we get one halfway decent one. So, yeah, I mean, it's not that bad. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this review, and if you did, I will be back next week or this week if I can get the review up in time. I know these are always late, and I have other things on my plate that I am trying to get done along with these reviews. So I'm trying to get these reviews done as soon as I can. And the show comes on Thursday, and today is Monday. So I'm only, what, several days late? <laughs> so hopefully this week I can get the review for you up when the show is on, or maybe that Friday or something like that, so it's not like four days late. But if you did like this review, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell up there so when I post a new review or whatever, it'll let you know that I'm up here working and... and post and review. So until next time, stay out of the mist. Or actually go in the mist and tell us what's out there. That'd be awesome.